Uh, it's a very large and growing segment of the defense budget. Uh, in fact, for the defense investment side of the defense budget, over time it's risen from something under 5% at the beginning of the current administration to approaching 20% of the entire uh, investment side of the defense budget. Do you have any idea what kind of activities come under the black budget? Yeah, we have a variety of bits and pieces of information. The advanced cruise missile, we don't know exactly how much it costs. It's probably in the range of maybe $700 million this year. It's a production program of a new stealthy cruise missile to succeed the current one on the B-52s. There are other areas where we know the program is there, but we don't know where it is, like the new stealth bomber, the sometimes called the advanced technology bomber. Uh, that bomber that's supposed to succeed the B-1 bomber now in production uh, is somewhere buried in the research and development and procurement accounts of the Air Force. We don't know exactly how much money, but we do know that the program exists. Then there are programs like the Air Force's F-19 fighter, which don't exist at all. In fact, if you call the Air Force and ask them about the stealth fighter, uh, they'll tell you what stealth fighter. If you call Lockheed, who manufactured the stealth fighter, they will tell you what stealth fighter. So some programs, their very existence is denied by the services and by the contractors. It's been said that one of the reasons for the black budget is to carry out projects that absolutely must be secret. How many of these projects would fit that category? Well, there are basically two kinds of projects in the black budget of the Defense Department. Uh, the Defense Department is where we bury all of our intelligence and reconnaissance money. So the funds that go for the National Reconnaissance Office, for the National Security Agency, and for the Central Intelligence Agency are all carried generally on the procurement side of the Air Force budget. Um, we don't know exactly how much they are, or we don't know what those agencies specifically are up to, uh, and it probably for the most part is appropriate to keep those uh, particular amounts classified. On the uh, other hand, the other part of the black budget, and really the bulk of it, is in the area of weapons programs. Uh, the largest single ones are Air Force stealth programs, missiles, bombers, and fighters, and for the Navy anti-submarine warfare programs. Uh, for the most part, it seems to us that plenty of the money that the Air Force is classifying in the black budget could be public. Everybody knows those programs exist. The technologies are not some super great secret. Uh, anybody knowing about them is not going to steal any enormous secrets. Uh, on the other hand, one could argue that the Navy's anti-submarine warfare programs represent a technology that's so integrally tied to the security of that piece of the American deterrent, the submarines that are underwater carrying nuclear weapons, that it may be appropriate because we have a tremendous lead over the Soviets in that area of technology. I've been given a quote from a Pentagon missile expert. I, I don't have this at source so that it's it's hearsay at this point, but that there are two other reasons why the Defense Department might want a black budget. One is that you're doing something so damn stupid you don't want anyone to know about it, and the other is you want to rip the money bag open and get out a shovel because there's no accountability whatsoever. Is there a suspicion that this is a problem? There is a lot of suspicion that this is a problem, but that's become a particular problem with the advanced technology bomber. Uh, that's the next generation to the B-1 bomber. Uh, the B-1 bomber, which was supposed to be a promised program at $20.5 billion in 1981 dollars by the administration, has of course had problems and gotten a bit out of control and will probably spend, Representative Aspen estimates, about $3 billion more dollars than expected just to clean up that program and make it work. That's been subject to a lot of scrutiny. The Advanced Technology or Stealth Bomber Program, which is completely classified, has not been subject to the same scrutiny. And so there's now a House language in the Defense Authorization Act that would require public reporting on the basic performance objectives, on the uh, schedule, the program schedule, and on the cost of the advanced technology bomber. And there is lots of sense that that program may also be getting out of control in cost terms, but because it's black, it's possible for the Air Force to conceal that. Gordon, let me bring the topic around to arms control. There are, at the moment, negotiations on some forms of arms control going on in Geneva. If these black budget items are there and hidden, is there a chance that what's happening within the black budget could actually undermine any opportunity for a lasting arms control agreement? I think it's very likely that there are programs being pursued on the military side with relatively little attention to the arms control consequences. Uh, that is true in part with anti-submarine warfare programs, probably appropriately, but those programs do threaten the integrity of the Soviet ballistic nuclear forces on submarines because we're able to identify them very precisely. Um, it is also true with respect to technologies that could be relevant to Star Wars type programs, technologies that involve particle beams, high energy lasers, other electronics. 
those may violate some arms control agreements that have been negotiated. It's very hard to patrol them. Again, we're in a we're in a very black area here, so that all one can really say is maybe, and in all likelihood, we are pursuing technologies uh, that will make future arms control agreements difficult to verify, or may push technologies past the current arms control agreements that exist. Gordon Adams of the Defense Budget Project. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.